relationship right now. Mm -hmm. And I also think that parallels how people could be thinking about the new sexual assault services funding, mm -hmm. because that's not just another $500 in your bank account when that gets down to a local level, right? We're not just writing checks to increase people's budgets because that's a good idea by itself. Mm -hmm. SASP itself is a philosophical commitment for the very first time from the feds to sexual assault services. Mm -hmm. And if we look at it just like a check and not as an opportunity to actually have the dialogue and discussion and build more commitment, on both the state, federal, and local levels, um, all three, about sexual assault services, then we're missing part of that preparation and part of that work, right? It's not exactly being shovel ready, but it's looking at the whole schema of what it means to have a commitment come down with funding attached and not just look at it like, okay, here's our chance to buy one more thing. It's actually a chance to step back and say, here's what we need to do to plan and to think, to be ready to build. And that's where it comes back to me be shovel ready. All that preparation that needs to happen, we'll be ready to execute. And I, I think that that's going to be a complexity of having stimulus money happening at the same time as SAS money. Because exactly. the stimulus money is really meant to, you know, help backfill, help get us out of recession, help get us, you know, sort of moving and, 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 and economically sort of back on track. The SAS money, which, you know, everybody knows has been a much longer and older conversation, um, is, you know, is I think really designed to be um, capacity dollars in a different kind of way, I, I fear that those are going to get confused and bound up in one another, and that instead of taking the opportunity, I think, like you're identifying of, you know, maybe this is the dollars that, because it's not, you know, um, a, a ton, a ton of money, you know, that maybe these are the dollars that you use to start, like, identifying outcome measures, or these are the dollars right. that you start using to um, expand capacity, you know, not to conduct research, but to, um, you know, but to think about uh, how data is being collected or things like that, um, that it's going to get caught up in the stimulus stuff. And, and I think that, that is a missed opportunity um, because even if we increase SASP over time, um, where once, you know, once that money starts to get directed towards a certain kind of thing, it's really hard to bring it back and say, are there more overarching goals that we can achieve with the SAS money? That's exactly what I'm thinking, that it, it, you've got to step back and think about overarching goals and um, priorities mm -hmm. instead of just letting that money get rolled into your ever-shrinking, perhaps, bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And so how do people do that? At the same time, while they're managing, paring down all other sorts of resources and opportunities to operate on that bare minimum that we started talking about in the first place, you know, you've um, certainly made a lot of cuts at CalCasa, I know, to make sure you're using your money efficiently and effectively, and other coalitions are doing that as well. I've never seen as much list or traffic as I have recently about who's putting out trainings on DVDs, who's got online right. software for online trainings, who's uh, using rental cars instead of paying for mileage so people can get places. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a coalition who's been using youth hostels to go stay in during some of mm -hmm. their travel. I mean, people are making cuts in really incredibly dramatic ways mm -hmm. um, in a, a, a time where it really requires it. So how do you balance staying in a youth hostel with an increase in money for your capacity in the Recovery Act funding right. opportunities right. and while SAS is coming down? I mean, it's just holding these two ends of a very dynamic process. 